What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys clicking on this video. I hope you learn a little bit about some trailers to use and hopefully you guys test them out and see if they work for you. But popping up on the screen right now is the very first comment of the day. I'm gonna start picking a random comment, one of my favorite comments in the comments below and pop it up and give it a little shout out because I appreciate all your guys' comments. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys my top five best trailers to use for jigs and chatterbaits all year round. So let's get into it. Hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and also go back to my main page and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I am almost at 1700 subscribers. So let's get into the video, enjoy it. guys so I'm gonna start off with showing you one of my favorite trailers that I've ever used I started using this trailer about two years ago when I got with the company actually and it is the X-Zone Muscleback Crawdad and it is the Bama color I'm gonna bring it out here and show you guys what it looks like it's basically just a little crawdad um, it's a great crawdad has great action on it and these craws right here they're not very skinny, so they're not gonna fall off that easy. I can usually use this trailer almost all day. I actually have it set up on this rod right here. I was using it in a tournament today. I have it set up on a chompers jig, green pumpkin, purple flash, and that is a great looking jig. I've caught some of my biggest fish on this jig right here. I'm actually gonna show you a few clips of using this jig in this trailer, so enjoy. So this crawdad obviously comes in a ton of different colors, but this is one of my favorite colors that I've ever tried up here in Michigan. Um, it works super good. I'm gonna leave all the links to the websites below. I'm not getting paid or anything. I just wanna help you guys out and let you know some of my favorite trailers that I use up here in Michigan for chatterbaits and jigs. But yeah, this is one of my favorite trailers I've ever used up here in Michigan. So I was starting off with this one. If you're gonna buy any of these trailers, I would recommend this one out of any of them that I'm showing you today. This is the one that I catch the most fish on, the X-Zone Muscle Back Crawdad in the Bama color. So we're gonna head on to the next trailer. So next up, we have the Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss, the four inch in green pumpkin. This is a super, super nice trailer. I use this on all my jigs and all my chatterbaits. I have this one set up on a chatterbait right here. This is actually a super, super nice setup. I use this all the time. I'm gonna show you guys a few clips of using this trailer and catching a lot of big fish and a lot of big pike. So. I like to use this one pretty much all the time on the back of these chatterbaits. It's a great bait and it catches a ton of big fish. So these Havocs come in a lot of different colors. Here's the black and blue trailer and I have it set up on this black and blue chatterbait. This is a great bait to throw at nighttime. I don't know if you guys have been following my Instagram for a while, but this is the bait that I use at night to catch all my big bass. 
even in the daytime when the water's super muddy this is a great bait to throw it's great action on the back of this chatterbait so it's a really good bait i'm going to show you guys a few close-ups of these trailers all right guys so next up this is actually one of my dad's favorite trailers to use on the back of all his jigs. It's a Zoom Super Hog Green Pumpkin Blue. And this is a super, super good bait to throw around stumps. If you can find stumps out in open water or any weed beds where fish like to hang out, this is a great bait to throw around stumps to catch some big largemouth bass. Right here, I'm just giving you a little look on what it looks like on this jig. This is a chompers jig. I just set it up so you guys could see what it looks like. I'm also gonna get a few close-ups of this lure in this trailer, so enjoy the close-ups. So next up, we have the Rage Tail Structure Bug in four inch this is the bama craw and then we have the green pumpkin and these are super nice trailers to use on the back of chatterbaits or also on the back of jigs i use these all the time around docks or also on drop-offs where i can find a lot of fish on the drop-offs wherever i can find weeds too fish are always hanging around weeds and if you can get these jigs or chatterbaits in the little holes in between the weeds where there's beds these are great great baits they tend to catch me some of my biggest bass i don't know if you guys have seen me using these in any of my videos but i've actually been using these in a few of my chatterbait videos or my jig videos so I'm gonna get it out and show you guys some close-ups, but they have some super nice rivets in them. And these are a little longer, so it has some great action on these trailers. I'm gonna show you some close-ups here in a minute. All right guys, so next up we have the Guggen Baits, the Bonito Bug. And this is the Alabama Craw again. I tend to like these a lot, the Alabama Craw and the green pumpkin colors. And I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. A lot of different guys, a, a few guys that use these in the MLF. So I'm gonna get it out and show you guys this little trick on how I set it up and how a lot of other guys rig these up on the back of their jigs and also their chatterbaits. So I don't know if you guys can see all these little like arms on the side of these. A lot of guys will rip these off, just rip them off right there, and pull this apart. Make sure to always pull it apart to give it the best action. And there we go. A lot of guys tend to use it like this. I don't know why, but it really works. And a lot of guys use these baits. These are super nice baits. They have a lot of action on them with all these rivets on the body. So that is pretty much all of my favorite jig trailers and chatterbait trailers my top five favorite all-time favorite up here in michigan so i hope you guys learned a little bit about trailers and test these out wherever you live and let me know in the comments below which one you liked the best and if you tried these let me know if you caught any fish on them i appreciate you guys clicking on this video remember to give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next video peace out